Welcome to Droppy, where we take your dumb ideas and make even dumber drawings. I'm Jacob. I'm Nathan. I'm Julia. And guys, today Newsday has gone rogue. Whoa. What? Newsday's fucking kick flipping, <laughs> smoking a cigarette and a leather jacket right now. Yeah. Because it has gone rogue. We're trying something completely new. It's very new. It's so new, in fact, that we've already done the drawings Blah. in this episode. What? You ain't going to be seeing us drawing live. We're trying a, a something new that I thought might be fun to do to let you guys see a fuller process mm. of kind of like what we would be drawing like if we weren't recording. Yeah. Wow. And it gives us a chance to like flex a little bit too. Like, you know, do something yeah, a little you, more complicated. You can, than... uh, you can condense an hour long drawing into 10 minutes each. Yes. It makes us look really good. It makes us look much better. Yeah. The challenge we're doing today is we're drawing Link from Legend of Zelda as if he were in like other genres. We've each picked a genre, like an AU link. Link to the future. Or past. Yes. Or past. It's link to something. Yeah. Link to Nathan, whose drawing we're going to look at first. Nathan, you did a sci-fi link, right? Yeah, I did sort of a, a Gendy Tartakovsky Clone Wars oh, awesome. style link. I can't wait to see. I'm going to so count like, you in. It's like future fantasy. I love it. And I'm going to give you a countdown. And then you're going to play this video and we're going to watch it. Okay. Three, two. One, play. So, you know, uh, I I think uh, I, I was really sort of going for like the the style as well as the as the genre. Yeah, you want to go full Gendy. You've got a, a dynamic pose like a Gendy. Yeah, yeah I, I was uh, I was looking at you know I'm sort of fiddling around with the uh, with where where the arm's gonna go here, trying to decide on some things. Yeah, you'll get to see so much more decision making in these videos, yeah. and like how long it actually takes to get this stuff out when you're not on like a strict time limit. Definitely, and also like just how much that if we did draw your recordings in our most comfortable way, how much we erase and futz and fiddle. Oh my god! It just seems like we're never happy with what when we, we do. When we get to the inking, you're gonna see just how much I hit the undo button because like every line is gonna come in and just flicker. <laughs> yeah, that's what it looks like when you speed it up. You get some fl so you know we've got uh, we've got a little face there, a little link face. I love it. It's so intense. Yeah, you know, it's, a, it's, it's got intense. that it's got that style in it. That yeah. distinct style. So we're gonna get like a Jedi link here. Yeah, this is sort of a Jedi. I really was a fan of the sort of um, when Obi Wan would wear. Uh, his like Jedi robe sort of over the clone trooper armor. Oh, sort of yeah. like a, a clone trooper Jedi hybrid. That's rad. Like when they were when they were generals, when they were like Jedi generals. And sure. that's sort of what I imagine Link because he was like a royal guard in Breath of the Wild. Yeah, he was like a knight. Yeah. So, so I feel a like Jedi this is, knight. Yeah, exactly. Um I do realize at this point I've sort of just drawn Legsy. <laughs> He is kind of legsy. This is sort of a gender bent legsy. This is sort of just a legsy. Linksy. Linksy. Uh, um, I love the hood look. Well, yeah, because you want to get that pointy hat in, but the Jedi don't wear hats, they wear hoods. Yeah. So I still I just made it an extra long pointy hood. I like that. That was my that was my solution. Go ahead and link with the cape. I'm pretty sure in mine I I forewent the hat altogether. I just left the hat out. That's okay. That's um, allowed. They, they, he didn't really wear the hat in Breath of the Wild either. Yeah, the, the whole, what Link can be is opened up now. Link is, uh, Link is just a beautiful boy. Link is just a beautiful boy, and as long as you have that aspect, uh, I think you're pretty much on track. Yeah. Um, um, I never actually watched the Clone Wars series, but oh I heard man. it was good. It's a, it's a lot of fun. It's, I think it's all on YouTube at this point. Really? I think so. It, it was the last time I checked. It might not be anymore, but... Um, yeah, man, I, I just love that. It's just so, it's my favorite, I think it's my favorite Star Wars thing. Really? I think I like wow. it better than any Star Wars movie. That is high praise. <laughs> um, you know, that's that's just my opinion. You can do with that what you will. So now here we are, we're gonna get to the flickering. The flickering inks. <laughs> the legend of the flickering inks. Yeah, so just trying to get those, those real smooth lines that, uh, that re reminiscent of the series. This yeah, I feel like people are in a, a, a weird like headspace or they think that we draw things very effortlessly, but really we just, on Drawfee episodes, just don't allow ourselves to think about it much or else we will go insane. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you, know? you, you just have to keep going. Yeah. You're on the clock. 
I did try and limit myself to an hour though. So this uh I did not. <laughs> mine mine took about two hours. Oh wow. Yeah. This is this was about I think this is like an hour and like ten minutes total. Okay. Cause I started I started having fun with the background. You'll you'll see. I, I started futzing around and trying different things. Oh, I can't wait to see. Um, I'm, I'm also just interested to see like what what directions you guys went in terms of like colors and background because like I know I didn't do much by way of background. I got really yeah. focused on on tr- character stuff. I tried to keep it pretty simple. I wanted this to be like a full on homage. Um, it looks great. It's got that yeah. like really clean um, Gendi style. Yeah, man. Them big shapes. Yeah, He's so good at those shapes. I love those shapes. I love those shapes. I love just the way, like, you know, it's almost like got sort of like a stained glass um, sort of feel to it, especially the way he does hair. I tried to get that in the yeah, hair yeah, totally. a little bit. Um, and yeah, and then just like the way the way that he does like folds in, in clothing and stuff, like that little zigzag in the, that's like fully lifted from a, a reference image that I was right. looking at. <laughs> Of yeah. Obi Wan making sort of a, a similar pose, not exactly the same, but the legs, the legs are pretty, <laughs> pretty similar to uh, an image that you can you can Google that you can find on the internet. Fun fun fact is like Link has been uh, redrawn into basically every genre already. Yep. So yeah. you, you can get. A, I wanted to make it original. Um, someone made a very good. Um, like Star Wars Smash Bros parody video where Link is like a Luke Skywalker. Oh, that's fun. Cuz I did g- we we before I settled on on doing this particular style, we I was sort of going through a bunch of different um different possibilities and I kept googling them. I was like, "Oh, someone already did. Someone already did like a Mad Max yeah. Link." And I think it. it's probably helpful to say as well, just for people watching who might be new to the digital drawing and coloring sort of thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, do you want to explain why you put this big neutral tone, dark color? Um, it's something that Caldwell would do when he would color is, is why I started doing it. But I think it helps just like instead of having a, a fully white background, I, it, it sort of it it helps you remember to actually color in the white areas. Number one, and number two, it's just you just pick a color that you're not planning on using in the in the actual drawing. Yeah, for sure. It's for color relevancy. Yeah, it definitely helps. If you helps put a, you pick. a like a fifty gray tone somewhere in the middle between white, like a a very like the ultimate neutral gray, no matter what like color it is, as long as it's that perfect neutral gray, it lets you go deeper into shadows and lights and also lets you thoughts with colors. Yeah, it yeah, sort of sure. gives you it gives you something in the background to like contrast stuff with. Yeah. It's a very smart thing to do and it's something that I try to do, but you'll notice in mine that I didn't. <laughs> um, but I I do it also for a different reason, which is that it makes the if you use like a brush that's a little weirder um, putting like a, a neutral tone behind it, make sure there's no jaggies. Oh yeah, between like anti aliasing and, and stuff uh, and yeah. the line work. It that also fills all that in and makes the brush a little darker. Because I used kind of a, a brush that was a little toothier and had a bit more texture yeah, to it. Definitely. Now I'm futzing around with the lightsaber. Oh yeah, getting that outer glow. Yeah, we got we got a stroke got a on stroke. there. We got a stroke on there. Then I made layers so that I could erase the stroke. Nathan, this looks so good. Yeah, now Thank you're getting you. the glow. Thank you. I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. This Those, is great. The shapes yeah. are so good, and all the color contrasts are really good. Everything's so like distinct. There's no confusion as to what anything is. Yeah. I mean, again, like I this this was like full homage. Like I just love the way uh, the Clone Wars animated series looked, and I was like, I'm just gonna do some fan art. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that was kind of the the idea behind this yeah. series was I wanted just an <clears throat> excuse for us to make fan art and have fun with it. Yeah. yeah. And also just a chance to like you know get to flex our art muscles a little bit and like right. show that we we can make art that's pretty good when we have time. Well, yeah, I also like I don't do a lot of finished stuff because Julia um I render your Julia stuff. renders my stuff mostly. I don't I don't really have time, so it was fun to just sort of practice that. Yeah, I think this is something we can definitely revisit uh, with other types of things because it's just good practice too. And I I assume that people watching will enjoy getting like the process 
yeah. uh, information. And, like, it was also just, yeah, like, it, I enjoyed it just, like, trying to remember how to do stuff or, like, figuring, yeah. figuring stuff out. Oh, you've got, like, a dusty, Ooh, oh, like, cool, like, a uh, slide. A dusty slide. Yeah, I'm slide. Do, doing a little dusty slide. Now, now I'm just having fun. I'm like, okay, the drawing's done. Now I can just futz around with the background a little bit. Yeah. Um, that's always the best part of the drawing process for me is when you reach that point where you're just like, you forget that you have like a goal, mm -hmm. really, and you're just like having a good time. And it's like everything you do, you kind of get in like the zone. And then everything you're doing just feels nice. Yeah. And it's like, oh, I'm just enjoying making these lines and shapes. Yeah, got some clouds in the background. We're almost done. Gotta We're get some almost clouds. done here. Um, and I oh, tried. Where'd, where'd the shield go? I just put it away for a sec, and then I was like, oh, no, I should just put it. I just just put it completely behind. Yeah, yeah there so we go. it doesn't yeah. bump up against the saber. Add some more clouds, and just like Photoshop again, just makes it so easy to like yeah futz around and to do play. cool. So you can just add blurs and you can change opacity like yeah. Nathan's doing here, and yeah. you've got some like little big um, soft round brush. And that's it. That's the drawing. Man, Man that, that turned looks out great. so good. Yeah, excellent. Really work, nailed dude. it. I, Thank you. I love the look of this. I think you captured it perfectly. I'm so glad. I was real happy with how this turned out. It was a fun challenge, and I'm glad I got to do it. Well, Nathan, you did it. Everyone loves you. Yay. They'll say it in the comments, I'm sure. Yeah, All right. I'm pretty happy with how that turned out. Nathan, you did an awesome job. Thank you. Now it's time for me to do an awesome job. Yeah. Let's I'm get mine up. You you did a, you did a, a beautiful boy. I did. It, it will become clear very quickly into this video that I just wanted to draw a hot boy. And I did, I did do it. I think that's important. I think originally you were gonna do a Western one, weren't you? I was gonna do a cowboy boy at first. Yeah, yeah. you were like, I wanna do the challenge of drawing the master sword as a revolver. And then yeah. you were like- That sounded fun, and then I thought about it, and um, you we, just, we can go ahead and play in uh, three, okay. two, one, go. Um, I thought about it, and I had a, an idea that I liked even more. Mm -hmm. um, and you'll see here, like I start like futzing a bit. Oh, you use a nice, a nice, Soft. That's a real um, soft sketcher. I was messing with poses, and then I start here on the left side because I was like, maybe I should just kind of figure out the look first. Uh huh. And then I ended up like eventually translating this this left one into the main one, just because I liked how it was coming out. Oh, cool. He looks so um, cute. Yeah. My idea I had was it's a rom com link. Yeah. Like an indie rom com, but it's one that's like inverted in terms of um, the roles. Oh, okay. I imagine oh. that Link is like the hot but frazzled intern. At Hyrule Corp. Oh, and, and uh, Zelda's, Zelda's like, like the, the vice president, very high powered. Uh, yeah, and they meet and fall in love. Shot, you yeah, know? and um, and Ganondorf, I think, is like the president, the evil yeah. like, CEO. Oh, sure. So I started here, and I was trying to like kind of match his tunic style with sort of like a turtleneck and like big like smocky thing over it. Oh, this is fun. I love the like you're you're sort of constructing the fashion and doing the anatomy at the same time. Yeah, I wouldn't recommend doing that <laughs> uh, to anyone. Um, but that is what I was doing. I eventually end up throwing basically all of this away. Um, I try out glasses for a second. Oh, this um, is some real process. To, this is what the extra hour was. Yeah, spent. I did a lot of just like messing around. Um, so then I get the torso back in, and I start thinking like maybe like a big like scoopy sort of shirt. Oh yeah, um, and he's Show got like his those, like folders and pecs. yeah, and um, cuffed cuffed sleeves, and I used like a a tied like flannel around the waist to yep. mimic yeah. the tunic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and I figured he'd have like a couple necklaces, and this was also an excuse to learn how to draw a messy bun. Like, oh with yeah, the hair. This sort of like what what his hair does when you when you put on the um, the Sheikah armor. Yeah. yeah, totally. So I wanted like a messy bun intern link. Messy bun intern link. And he's got on uh, you know high boots, high boots, high rule. Um, and then oh, yeah, he's it so was pretty. More at this point, I was like, I just want to draw a pretty a pretty boy. I just want to be friends. Oh, he's got the the Triforce on his bag. Yeah, that's like mimicking the the Hylian shield. I think the... I went to college with this boy. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of a lot of links walking around FIT. It's yeah. the type of, of boy that works so well in like cartoon, yeah. but in real life can almost always look like a giant douchebag. <laughs> And it's like, why can't this work in real life as well? Yeah. Um, here I'm doing a lot of boot experimentation. I end up going back to the ones I started with. Yeah. That's all right. Try it out. I like that, like, you went into yours with less sort of planned out. I feel like with mine, I, um, I spent a lot of time before I started recording 
just sort of thinking about what I wanted to do because I get very self-conscious sure. when I'm recording it. And um, I like, I'm glad that we get to see this like full full process, like visually thinking things out. Yeah, I really wanted to capture that in this recording of like being able to see the entire like, uh, yeah. me coming up with the idea, I realized I had to save. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, me coming up with the idea and then like executing on it and like trying a few things that don't work out. Yeah. And like, you know, it's because it's the thing that like we always preach, you know, which is like right. just keep going and keep trying things. Yeah. Um, but it, we, it doesn't get seen a lot in Droppy episodes. For sure. Your inks are so nice. They're I so love the, the line thickness variation. You Thank got. you. Inking is, uh, as I've said many times, my favorite part of drawing. What, uh, what brush are you using here? Um, I don't remember <laughs> already. All right. Um, I paused here for some reason. You I took must a, have been doing something. You took a phone call. It's yeah, a quick I, phone I, call. I definitely did something. Went to go just Google some hot boys to. Yeah, I Google some hot boys. You. Um, I I use like actually women's fashion as the um, reference material for Link's outfit. Oh, nice. And uh, then I looked up what messy buns looked like. Yeah, messy and I just buns. had a picture of Link. <laughs> uh, framed with hearts around it. I just had a bunch of pictures of Obi Wan Kenobi. <laughs> <laughs> we all have our priorities. Uh, but yeah, it's it's you know one of those fun art things where it always starts, and I'm always nervous at the beginning of a piece. Right. And then like 30 minutes in, nothing I'm just, more like, intimidating a blast. than a blank canvas for sure. But then once you start putting stuff on there, it's like, oh, oh, I drew this. Oh I, wow! It's like wow, I can draw. I can just keep. The, this, these clothing folds, Jacob. Yeah, I was really pleased with how the uh, all the clothing folds oh came my out. Gosh. This um, is delightful. They have such turns to them. It's something I've been working on lately. Is like trying to think more about how it would, how it would look, how it would hang, and how it would look. Again, and, um, just the the different line thicknesses you've got going are it's it's really it's really good. Thanks, it's man. It's really good. That's all I have to say. That's when I realized that the knot didn't make any sense, <laughs> so I had to redo that. And it still doesn't make sense, but I, I did give up on fixing it. It's okay. It's a cartoon. It doesn't um, have to. Yeah, I think <laughs> that I, was you. That was you just doing a, a heavy size. <laughs> like, heavy size. That's, yeah. that's just how it's gonna it's have like, to I be. I think that's just gonna be it, huh? <laughs> <laughs> it's like I can't keep doing this forever. Uh, but yeah, I like his uh, his big tall boots. Yeah, mm -hmm. tried to fashion him up a bit, but still make him approachable. You know, I yeah, I wanted him to look like he would be your friend. The this sort of deer in the headlights look. We've yeah, because Link's always a silent protagonist as well. Right? Yeah, and so it's like you know you want him to be like he's like quiet but quiet but cute and approachable. Yeah, maybe a little sensitive. A little sensitive for sure. I'm having a weird moment of appreciation. You know when you like look at a piece and you find that one corner that not many people look at and you're just like, I love how that corner turned out. Um, the hip, like link, like our left, Link's right side where like his hip, uh -huh. where the uh, the clothes kind of fold over and then his t-shirt is kind of bunching up there. That's yeah. such a good section. I was very proud of that. Also, you, this Navi. You can see me struggling as to where I wanted to put the Navi. Yeah. The I, Navi. I ended up going with a pin on the strap. A little enamel pin. I was thinking cell phone charm. Then I was <clears> thinking <throat> bag charm. But there wasn't any like way to fit it in how I wanted. So I was like, I'm just going to stick it on the strap. It's a pin now. It's a pin now. Um, Julia, to your point, it's yeah, it's like such a busy area. But you yeah. don't you don't have any tangents. All the lines are like, it's it's, it's all purposeful. It's thought out. Yeah, I, I worked really really hard on making that making that function. Um, and I was really happy with how the inks came out on this one. I think it's it's very clear and nice and clean. And uh, now you see me flatten in some colors. And like I said, I didn't do the thing Nathan did. That's OK. You didn't need um, to. Which I probably should have, because it, it always does help me. Um, but you will see that I do, um, at some point, like a selection around him and then an inverse selection, and then put in a base layer underneath Gotcha. to make all the lines um, a little darker. Yeah. It just fills in those little, like, in between bits. Yeah, for sure. So yeah, I went with like light green shirt, dark green flannel. Sure. Uh, tied around the waist. I just remembered, I illustrated an article where I drew Link as Zelda's intern. Did you? Yeah. I, oh, man. It was, it was more of a, 
it, it was it was less of a, a casual office environment. So Link was wearing yeah. like uh, like shirt sleeves and a, and a tie. I feel like this would be like a millennial office. You yeah. Know? It's like our office. This is like our office. This is just like our office. This is basically, I've never seen someone in our office carrying that many papers. No, there's no reason to carry that many there's, papers. We're there's a digital media, media company. A, like a, a dark green under layer. Nice. Uh, right there, which is what that was. And now you get the whole shading Now you're doing shading. Process. See, again, I picked, I picked one where I didn't, I didn't have to do shading. Well, I, just, I, I, I was splatted. having fun. Yeah. Because I looked at like the hair too and like all the creases and Yeah. I was like, Oh, I definitely want to shade that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then once you start, you have to keep going. Oh boy. Um forever and ever. Oh my and god. I'm just These zooming zooms. so much. <laughs> yeah, I apologize. Anybody with a weak stomach, maybe uh <laughs> see that that was mine. Mine was for anybody who wanted to see one without uh without experiencing just like yeah. turbulence. I apologize turbulence. for the turbulence. Um when I, when I draw, I like to zoom in and out a lot because I always like to make a change and then zoom out and see how it fits the overall picture. But I like to be in really close when I'm actually working on details. Yeah. No, if, if, I had, if I was going to do like shading and the level of detail you did for yours, I probably would have done some zooms. I, I purposefully picked a, a very simple, uh, simplified art style for mine. Well, you got to focus more on like boldness and like a pose. Yeah. Like a big stylistic direction. I feel like, you know, that that's something that I don't, uh, my my poses, if, if you've watched a lot of Drawfee, my poses, I, I get a- uh, I added some hair highlights because I wanted to really make them glow. I get frazzled and then I just do the, I just do like one of, of three poses. So I was, oh, yeah. I was I mean, excited to get to try a, Try a different one. Uh, at this point, what I'm doing is I'm adding a soft light sort oh, of glow to yeah. his upper half nice. and then multiplying the lower half to really oh, highlight sort really, of the- Really getting there. Give him that sort of glow feeling. And I actually cropped mine because it didn't feel like it made sense to keep it yeah. so wide when it wasn't gonna be. Yeah. And now I'm just sort of painting in colors uh, to like warm up the top left and Aww. cool down the bottom right. This is great. Um, to kind of make it into sort of a nice- He's so dreamy. Foresty, gradienty pattern. I feel like this would be the scene where Zelda first saw him. And yeah. And it's like the dream weaver. Part, you know, <laughs> and, it's like, and then he's just like a big dipshit. Um, <laughs> but an adorable dipshit. An adorable dipshit. He's, he's our adorable dipshit. Wow. Yeah, this is the final product. We did it. Excellent. Jacob, he's beautiful. He's Knocked beautiful. Knocked it out of the park. He's my beautiful boy, and I love him. Thank you for, for watching. Yay. And now, the moment we've all been waiting for. It's my turn. We gots to see what Julia we did. We gots to see what Julia did. So this I is... did um, a dark fantasy, because I figured if he was in fantasy already, but like Nintendo always gives him like a, a, a like a soft adventure yeah, yeah. kind of thing, except if you... Do you like Twilight Princess? Yeah, Twilight Princess is, I guess, and or Majora's Mask are probably like the darkest. Yeah, and then if you want to go like full dark. Yeah, if you wanted to see zooms and color relevancy rules, boy, do I have a clip for you. Oh boy, I'm so excited. I'm gonna count you in. All right, three, two, one, play. Also, I thought that I only had an hour, and then you can see some point in this where I take a big break. There's just like a long pause, and I that's me leaning over to Jacob saying, do we have, do we have a time limit? He goes, no. I'm like, damn it. <laughs> so I go back like really in, Russian. and I, I start to unchunk some lines. Unchunk. Unchunk. So my, um, my link was very much inspired by the art from Darkest Dungeon, which is like Chris Barassa and uh, Trudy Castle. Cool. You know, they have those like super dark shadows and I, they have like a, a layered look that I really enjoy. So oh. it's like fantasy by way of Mike Mignola. Yeah, basically. Um, the person but you can see... whose name is Castle made a game about a dungeon. Yes. Ha <laughs> ha. Um, but you can see all of my sketches. I do like a pose sketch and then on top in purple, I plan out the outfit on top of it because I don't want to figure out both at the same time because that's too many things to tackle. Oh yeah. my gosh. Um, um, and also, there's so many again, sketch layers happening right now. There's a yeah. purple like, one, a green one, and a red one. The red one, I assume, will be your ink layer, right? Yeah, the red one is my ink layer. Oh, right. You ink in red first because it, it lets it's, you go faster. It Well, there's like a there, there's two reasons. One is that it, um, I heard or like I read in a study that if you draw in black, 
it gives you that sort of like permanence feeling, like you know when you're writing out in black ink. Yeah. So you're more precious with it. Where if you draw in a different color, that's not a traditional ink color, it lets you loosen up a bit. So I started drawing in red, and also um, it depends on the tone, like the color tones that I want. Mm -hmm. If you want things to be cooler, you draw in red because when you put two colors next to each other, they like combat a little bit. So everything. That red is making everything look warmer when in reality the colors you're putting down look cooler or actually cooler. So you'll see me change the the color of the lines later to be blue because I want the tones to be a little bit more red and and fighty. This is some like four four D next level thought <laughs> process. Yeah, you're you're tricking your own brain yeah. with your color choices. Brain trickery. Because well, all art is brain trickery. Yeah, it's all illusions. Yeah. So you're... I always like how because you'll you've noticed on my drawing I I do pretty much the entire thing before I start inking. Yeah, so like I'm inking details that are already there right ninety yeah. percent of the time, but you do not like Julia... you get a rough sketch and then you just go right into inks. Julia's making impressed. decisions yeah. with her inks. You're still like very actively mentally engaged. Well, with it's this like portion of the drawing. Basically, what happens is that like that purple layer where I I lay out the clothes is really just to know where things are going to be shape-wise. And then while I'm drawing it, I figure, I like think of all the little details of what would happen. Like you see a lot of little sketchy lines on a lot of the metal, um, like on that belt buckle where that, like where that pointy part hits like the buckle part. Yeah. That part's going to move around. So it's going to scratch it up. So you're thinking of like what would physically happen to that metal based yeah. on how the outfit layers would function. Like I put, you know, where that big crack in that metal visor thing is, um, there's all a bunch of like little cracks coming off of it because things would get stuck in it and kind of rip it. So yeah, you're, I, I, you're thinking of the actual functionality yeah. of like these real life pieces. It's that fashion which school. Which I never ever think about in a million years. It, it's, it's so cool. Oh, that's where right after I drew that gun, uh, you could see that I was leaning over to talk to Jacob and There's ask a gun? him if there was a Yeah, he He's has like a hip. flintlock pistol on oh, his hip. Oh rad. Um yeah, I mean it just it helps sell the image a little bit more in that like believability, especially if you're going for something that is supposed to feel like realistic. Sure, yeah. You I know? love the way you do those like little scritch marks, the little hatchy lines, the that little scritches. imply like something's been like rubbed and yeah. It just adds so Marred. much texture, and it's such a. It, it feel like it's a very like you thing. Like it's a it's a staple of of your inking. I well, like you. It it makes it. It's like oh, Julia did this. Yeah. I also drawing that belt right there, I I put a bunch of lines in like the leather around where the belt is popping through the hole. Because oh, sure. it like will you know bend the belt right like, when you look at you know belts you use on your waist after a long time it starts to get worn so it gives it like that aged quality to it yeah this link has been you know tramping around in this armor for yeah. a while yeah 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 uh, this is not new armor no. no oh man this is there's so much mood here already like yeah, you haven't sure. even added any color or any of your like cool effects but it it already has such a such a tone oh thank you. It's uh, I, I really enjoy setting mood very early. Yeah. Um. So I try to keep that throughout. This is me just adding more, more belt buckles and wear and tear and some depth oh, yeah. to the holes of them and and stuff like that. It's me putting in a little bit of stitches. I think it's so cool because you you try to make your art so representative, of like what how that would be if it were real. Mm -hmm. And I feel like. I'm the complete opposite. Like, I make my art entirely escapist so that, like, it's free from a world in which you have to think of those things. Right. I always, Where knots like, need to make sense. I mean, I like watching, like, anime because everyone's, like, clean all the time. Right. They never have, like, none of their clothes wear out. They're but just, you like, do play Dark Souls. I know. And which I, is, like, the crux of Dark Souls. For sure. And I love that. And I love that in your art, too. But in my art, it's not right. something that, like, I, I seek to mimic. I yeah, just yeah, think yeah. it's really cool when other people can do it. Because you always like are more impressed with the things that you don't do. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, oh man, that's that's just oh. some good composition. Put a pillar there for yep. a little bit of compositional balance. You'll also see that I put these lines on the wrong layer, so you'll see me have to go back in. You'll see me just flickering it on and off uh, in a second. Yeah, because I'm just little like, skull. oh god, 
Damn it. Damn, damn it. Oh, God, come on. Damn it. God, put it on the phone. Stupid. Like, God, stupid. Yeah, and then we're going to get rid of everything. <laughs> get, get rid of, of everything. everything. Get it out. Stupid. Get it out. So put it on stupid. stupid idiot. Messed it up. <laughs> yep. That's. <laughs> yep, as you do in Photoshop. That's just, that's just how it goes. That's just how it goes. I wanted to Look give it some, some dungeon-y touches. I was thinking of like when he goes into Hyrule Castle in Breath of the Wild and there's all those those cool like people lived there and something bad happened here and there's just yeah. like stuff everywhere. Totally. Yeah. Um They really blew it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they had one job and they, they messed it up. Oh god, yeah, the the texture. Everything has texture. Ah. Oh. So you'll see that I, made, I changed my lines. Cool. That, oh. re that red on gray was like Oh, yeah, abrasive. no, it was atrocious. Um, so I put that uh, perfect neutral tone, which is that 50 in between white. Like if, if white is like a zero and black is 100, mm -hmm. I put 50 uh, for the background. And then I made my lines blue because I wanted to make everything feel a little bit warmer. And that's easier to see or like to push so if you, your lines are cooler. I have a question. Yes. You, did you block in these colors and then adjust the colors after they were blocked in? What like I did was that I... You're blocking in in red and then yeah, changing it? Yeah, I, uh, I locked the transparency uh, on that layer, and then I went over the whole thing with the square uh, rectangle t uh, tool, and then in my paths, I did fill, and since the transparencies <laughs> were locked, it only colored the lines. I'll show you later. I, I get what you're saying. Jacob is doing us a thousand yard stare, just like trying to. We all have That's, such different, yeah, like tools that we use when we yeah. when we do the the stuff. It's so funny because like people will often like lump you know digital art as like one thing. Yeah, but like it is true that from artist to artist, like the way you approach it is vastly different. Oh, it looks so cool when you put the black back in. Yep, it's Becky uh, black. So now that I had all my, my base tones in there with the blue inks, I knew that they were like a little desaturated but still warm enough. So now I'm just going in with some, some shading. It's like because we've sped them all up, each each of our drawings is 10 minutes, and it's like, oh, Julia accomplished so much more. <laughs> <laughs> if it helps, I think my original file is like, an hour and 45. Yeah, still 10 half. minutes quicker than mine. <laughs> um, which is absurd for the amount you get done. This is this is so cool. This this really this reminds me of your um your color job that you did on your uh, Elsa, your Dark Souls Elsa. Yeah, oh yeah. Totally. Yeah, that's definitely uh, that something I was referencing. I love the rim lighting. Rim lighting Thank is you. dope. I wanted some like in the impression that candles are somewhere like high up in the ceiling. I'm just captivated right now. Yeah. Like, I don't know what to say. I mean, I knew this was going to be what happened. Yeah. <laughs> we had to put ours first. Yeah, there was no way that, you know, we weren't going to get shown up here, but I'm it's just... still just very cool to watch. Yeah. This, um... this owns. <laughs> yeah, it just owns. <laughs> you know? Oh, so many different brushes. You know, I wanted sometimes to put in it some just texture. Owns. And then at some point, I was like, all right, I got to stop. I got to move on. And then I just stopped. But then I realized that I didn't finish like the bottom left corner of this background. But so what? this is where there you, you stopped. Yeah, this is where I stopped. But then you're gonna come back. Nope, that's it. Oh, you don't come back. I don't come back. This, this is, the, is this it. Is the end. This is oh, okay. the complete one. <laughs> I don't. The bottom left. Oh, you just didn't add like extra crackies. Yeah, I was gonna ink some more. Like I, yeah, I wouldn't I have noticed shade. if you I hadn't think pointed anything out. Would have thought about that. This that is, is not the focal point of the piece. Yeah. This is so dope. Yeah, uh, we all rad. did. They're all so different. I yeah. love that. Yeah, it turned out. This turned out great, guys. You gonna, you gonna put all three side by side? You know, I'm gonna put all three side by we side. Can, you're we probably can look seeing at all... that right now on the screen if you're watching this episode. Wow. I'd imagine if I did my job good. This one, you know, I don't know if it was the funniest one, but it was definitely informative. It's and, informative and interesting. And I got to, I got to just appreciate your, your guys. You guys are good at drawing. Yeah, you're good at drawing too. We're all good at drawing. We, yeah. we, you can, we can all be good at drawing oh together. I think this was artists have a good time drawing in peace. Oh my God. I think I we think actually made artists have a good time drawing in peace. Wow, and we I did hope, it. We've done it. I hope that people enjoyed it because I would like to do another one of things. Another, another one of things. <laughs> another one of things. I'd like to do another one of things like this. If anyone has a suggestion of what thing 
what another thing what another yeah, things do. we could do yeah. in this style yeah well you would like to see us do more more complete versions of yeah for sure and um also let us know in the comments if the zooming was too much i know it's a lot um and because we, can... we used to zoom on Drafi like as much as we wanted and i think we stopped because people <laughs> were like um you can't watch it. <laughs> you, you can't Bad watch. News, you can't watch. You this. can't watch it when you do that. Um, um, we can definitely try to rein that in if we if we need to. But yeah, this was a, a trial. You know, it's a news day. It's a news day. It's That's, brand new. This was this was as new as it gets, baby. As new as it gets, baby. Uh, thanks for watching, everybody. Thank you guys for doing this fun experiment. Anytime. Uh, yeah. I had a blast. Me too. I, I want to do more. I want to do more finished drawings. I don't yeah. do that very much in my life. Me but. too. Well, and as always, we're sorry. Sorry. Sorry.